Hi, I'm Rachel from Just Another Button Company, and I am going to show you how to make one of these warm and cozy cup cozies. I started with a Starbucks cup with a cup cozy on it, and I opened it where it's glued together so that it's long and skinny like this. And then I'm going to lay it onto a piece of fusible. This is Fusey Bond Light from So Lazy. And I'm going to lay it right side down on the paper side of my fusible. Then I'm going to trace around all of the edges. And I'm going to take my fusible with a traced shape on it and lay it onto a piece of fabric. And I'm going to make sure mine is fussy cut because this fabric has some pretty words and I'm gonna make sure that hope and peace get onto my cup cozy. So when I have it in the right position, I'm going to use my iron and fuse it in place. And then I'm going to cut on the lines. Okay, so now I have my fabric shape with fusible on the back and I have my open cardboard cup cozy. And now I'm going to fuse this fabric to the cardboard cup cozy. So I'm gonna peel the paper off. And I'm going to center it and match the cut edges. and use my iron to fuse it in place. Now I'm going to machine stitch one quarter of an inch from the edge all the way around the shape. Okay, so now I've sewn around the edges quarter of an inch from, from the edge with a straight stitch. And now it's time to fold this up and sew it together. So I'm gonna fold it where it was folded when I originally took it apart. And I'm going to overlap the ends. The notched edge should be on the bottom. So overlap it just a bit. And then I'm gonna use clips, these are Clover Wonder Clips. I'm going to hold mine together and it looks like it's the right shape again. So I'm going to hold it like that and then I'm going to pick out a button. Let's see. I think I like this one the best. And I'm going to put the button so that when I sew through, I'll be sewing through both layers because this is what's going to keep these two layers together. So it's just, just on top or just to the side of where the two layers meet. So first I'm going to poke my needle down through one of the buttonholes so that I know where to come through from the back, but I'm not going to push it all the way through. So I'm poking just to make a hole and then I'm going to put my needle in from the inside. I'm going to pull my thread most of the way up, but not all the way, and then I'm going to push it back down through the other hole. And then I'm going to sew through the loop of thread that's still on the other side. That's just going to help secure my thread on the inside. 
And then I'm going to sew back up through the first hole. And down again. I'm trying to hit the same hole every time because it's um, difficult to sew through the layers of the cardboard. But if you hit the same hole every time, it's much easier. I'm going to sew through the button three or four times just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Then when I've got it sewn on there, I'm going to look on the inside and I'm going to sew, I'm going to run my needle under the threads that are running along the back of the button. And that's going to create this loop that I'm going to put my needle through. Sewing through that loop and pulling it tight. And I'm going to do that a couple of times to secure my button on the back side of the cardboard. And now I have a warm and cozy cup cozy that I can put on to a drink and deliver to my friends. Or I can gift the cup cozy with a Starbucks gift card. And there you have it.